Z100. You listen to that station, right? Oh, so all the time. You hear Scott Shannon in the morning, right? Never. I'm never. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never out that early. That's the, o- that's the only reason. That's the only reason. Beauty rest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy, do I ever. Anyway, Scott Shannon's next up. Here. That's right. He's going to tell us how his station went from a worst to first, and a whole lot of other things too. We think. Looks I mean, like a happy guy. <laughs> Mr. Scott Shannon, who appears each morning on Z100 WHTZ Radio over in uh, here in New York, Z100, a hot news station that went on the air with these call letters last summer, and since then has gone from one of the lowest rated radio stations in town to the number one position, as their commercials boast they have gone from worst to first. Scott, welcome to the program. Give me a little bit of history here. This used to be WVNJ. It was a jazz station, uh, basically a New Jersey-based jazz station with a very small listenership, uh, but it served those those people very, very well. And we bought the station, uh, Mulright Communications out of Cleveland bought the station. So you're a part owner of the station, huh? No, no, oh. I'm just a DJ. Oh. But I have a lot of fun. Okay. What was the secret in your mind, or the series of events, that took this relatively small radio station and propelled it to the number one radio station in town? Tom, there are a lot of different factors involved. Number one, uh, the staff that we brought in was all new people, and they weren't they weren't uh, the old hardened New York disc jockeys or personalities. They were all young, fresh, hungry young people, and uh, they didn't have a lot of the stigmas that a lot of the people get that work in the New York area. For those who listen to Scott in the morning, you're a wild and crazy guy on the air in the morning. Now Scott comes on with Tom at Channel 7, and Scott is subdued. Scott is a professional disc jockey. Scott is not going to be wild and crazy this afternoon. He's going to be a broadcaster of records. No, Come on, Scott, I'm give just, me the wild and crazy I'm stuff. Just, I'm just, I've Come on, give me the Cliff Laundromats and the Bill Fife and the Nit Witness News, all that stuff you do for us in the morning. We Come do, on, kick us, Scott. We do us that up. on the you radio. The give it to us. We do that on the radio. That's all. We, we don't really, uh, we don't do television. <laughs> That's why we're in radio. Exactly. But we have a lot of fun. We write a lot of stuff. We start writing like about 5 o'clock in the morning. And when there's a target as easy as... <laughs> like a sitting duck. <laughs> what, are we really a sitting duck as a target? No. What makes us a target? Why don't you like us? Well, no, that's... We're not all zombies and crazy people. You're just a couple of us, you know? Well, the thing was, I was coming to New York for the first time, and I just... I expected to see this wonderful, air-free newscast. And then, after a while, you figure out that when you're allowed, you can flash obscene gestures on the screen at will. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, <laughs> I am living witness. <laughs> but no, it was, just, it was unusual, and it was, it was just a sh- kind of a shock to see the, um, that they make the same mistakes that they make in Chattanooga. Mm-hmm. But of course we do. Now, I'm told that uh, this television station has refused to accept your commercial advertising for Z100. And sir. it's breaking my heart. Is it really? Here is a first. Because we're a news program, we are going to play the commercial in its entirety. I think now, the is... commercial has not run on any of the other stations yet. Our, our schedule starts next week. So this is the world premiere of the new film. Ladies and gentlemen, the world premiere of the Z100 television commercial, Don Imus, eat your heart out. Z100, the morning zoo, Scott Shannon, Ross Britton. Scott, it's going to be a rotten day. Uh, Z100, hot rock and flame throw. Hot hits. Fewer commercials. Z100 shattered traffic reporting a two-truck collision on the LIE. Go ahead, sir. Make my day. I'm sick of in the town. The Z100. It takes a knockin'. And keeps on rockin'. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? But wait a minute. Yeah. It... Features wanted an excessive destruction of radios. Now, let me tell you what the objection is, and I get this now from Mr. Bill Fife, who's our general manager here. Number one, the commercial claims that you have fewer commercials. I then, saw that. Then what? Well, how do we know? We need substantiation. It might have had fewer commercials than we had oh, last but week. But hear me out. That's number one, okay? The second thing is we see a, an impersonation there of Mr. T smashing up a radio. How do we know? that the real Mr. T is not going to sue us for, or any other station that plays it, for wrongful or, in his mind, faulty impersonation. How do we know? If you'll watch it, it clearly lists that that's not Mr. T. It says it. I know, but what if Mr. T gets mad that we've copied his, or that you've taken his trademark or his look or something? I'll tell him to come see you. Oh, no, don't tell him to come see me. And number three, um, there's a scene in there where a gun points for just a second. 
and that kind of violates the standards and practices of no, Channel there's 7. There's no such thing as that. Well, there's, there's something in there that they don't like. In any event, the thing is, fewer commercials, how do we know? Mr. T, is, has he endorsed it? If we can get those two things cleaned up, bring it back and we'll take the, a look at the it. The fact of it is, though, uh, the other two network stations accepted it without any, without any objection whatsoever. Mm -hmm. and. And because of the fact, possibly because of the fact, there's a competitive station involved in the conglomerate that we're in current competition with. Yeah, a little bit of... Oh, but come on, Scott. I mean, WYNY is your competitor. You're first and they're ninth. And they're an NBC-owned station. It's a different format. Uh, w, uh, WIMP is in the same format. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, work it out with the manager. I still like you. Oh, I didn't we're say friends. you didn't. Now, what are the plans for Z100? Now that you're number one, do you double up your efforts, or do you just kind of sit back and coast, Scott? Well, one of the ways that we got to be number one is we really became a people station. We allow people to call in. They're part of the morning show. Mm -hmm. They win a lot. We, you know, instead of instead of spending so much money on television advertising, we take a lot of that budget and we give it out in prize, uh, $100 bills at a time. And we're going to continue to be, you know, on the street level with the people. Continue to serve the the audience instead of the critics and all that. Well, you brought many a smile to my morning, and I thank you for coming in this afternoon. Please give our best to everybody over at Z100. Now, we've got to have sick, sick as sick as a dog buttons, okay? For Mr. The... Leonard called in very sick today. Yeah. Make it. Well, we've got to have six Mr. Leonard sick as a dog buttons, and we need 15 bumper stickers, a couple of Z100 T-shirts, and I need three $100 bills. That's you got it. Okay. I'll book it. Thank you very much. Scott Shannon from Z100. He's on every morning from 6 until 10.